as Elon Musk wants to put humans on Mars permanently while NASA wants to send astronauts for space exploration. However, there is a problem with that distance. Everywhere you want to go in deep space is far. The closest star to Earth is about 4.25 light years away. The fastest ever spacecraft, the now in space Parker Solar Probe, will reach a top speed of 4,50,000 meter per hour. It would take just 20 seconds to go from Los Angeles to New York City at that speed. But it would take the solar probe about 6,633 years to reach Earth's nearest neighboring solar system. If humanity ever wants to travel easily between stars, people will need to go faster than light which is impossible according to Albert Einstein's special theory of relativity. Einstein famously dictates that no known object can travel faster than the speed of light in vacuum. However, scientists accidentally discovered something which can solve the problem of travel faster than the speed of light. In this video, I'll show you how world's first rap bubble which can travel faster than the speed of light, finally created and proved Albert Einstein's theory wrong. In Isaac Asimov's Foundation series, humanity can travel from planet to planet, star to star or across the universe using jump drives. As a kid, we read as many of those stories as I could get my hands on. I am now a theoretical physicist and study nanotechnology but I am still fascinated by the ways humanity could one day travel in space. Some characters, like the astronauts in the movies Interstellar and Thor, use wormholes to travel between solar system in seconds. Another approach, familiar to Star Trek fans, is warp drive technology. Warp drives are theoretically possible if still far-fetched technology. Two recent papers made headlines in March when researchers claimed to have overcome one of the many challenges that stand between the theory of warp drives and reality. In 1994, physicist Miguel Alcubir proposed a radical technology that would allow faster than light travel. The warp drive, a hypothetical way to skirt around the universe's ultimate speed limit by bending the fabric of reality. It was an intriguing idea. Even NASA has been researching it at the Eagle Works Laboratory. But Alcubir's proposal contained problems that seemed insurmountable. Now, a recent paper by US-based physicist Alexei Bobrik and Gianna Martia has resolved many of those issues and generated a lot of buzz. But while Bobrik and Martia have managed to substantially demystify warp technology, their work actually suggests that faster than light travel will remain out of reach for beings like us, at least for the time being. There is however a silver lining. Warp technology may have radical applications beyond space travel. The story of warp drive starts with Einstein's crowning achievement general relativity. The equations of general relativity capture the way in which space-time, the very fabric of reality, bends in response to the presence of matter and energy which in turn explains how matter and energy move. General relativity places two constants on interstellar travel. First, nothing can be accelerated past the speed of light around 300,000 km per second. Even traveling at this desiring speed, it would still take us 4 years to arrive at Proxima Century, the nearest star to our sun. Second, the clock on a spaceship traveling close to the speed of light would slow down relative to a clock on Earth. This is known as time dilation. Assuming a constant state of acceleration, this makes it possible to travel the stars. One can reach a distant star that is 150 light years away within one's lifetime. The catch, however, is that upon one's return more than 300 years will have passed on Earth. This is where Alcubar came in. 
he argued that the mathematics of general relativity allowed for warp bubbles regions where matter and energy were arranged in such a way as to bend space time in front of the bubble and expand it to the rear in a way that allowed a flat area inside the bubble to travel faster than light to get a sense of what flat means in this context note that space time is sort of like a rubber mat the mat curves in the presence of matter and energy think of putting a bowling ball on the mat gravity is nothing more than the tendency objects have to roll into the dents created by things like stars and planets a flat region is like a part of the mat with nothing on it such a drive would also avoid the uncomfortable consequences of time dilation one could potentially make a round trip into deep space and still be greeted by one's nearest and dearest at home how does alcubierre's device work here discussion often relies on analogies because the math is so complex imagine a rug with a cup on it you are on the rug and you want to get to the cup you could move across the rug or tug the rug towards you the warp drive is like tugging on space time to bring your destination closer but analogies have their limits a warp drive doesn't really drag your destination towards you it contracts space time to make your path shorter there's just less rug between you and the cup when you switch the drive on Alcubierre's suggestion while mathematically rigorous is difficult to understand at an intuitive level Bobrick and Martyr's work is set to change all that Bobrick and Martyr show that any warp drive must be a shell of material in a constant state of motion enclosing a flat region of space time the energy of the shell modifies the properties of the space time region inside it This might not sound like much of a discovery but until now it was unclear that warp drives might be physically speaking their work tells us that a warp drive is somewhat surprisingly like a car a car is also a shell of energy in the form of matter that encloses a flat region of space time the difference is that getting inside a car does not make you age faster that however is the kind of thing a warp drive might do using their simple description bobrick and martier demonstrate a method for using einstein's general relativity equations to find space times that allowed for arrangements of matter and energy that would act as warp bubbles this gives us a mathematical key for finding and classifying warp technologies their work manages to address one of the core problems for warp drives the negative energy requirements of alcubierre's device are immense by some estimates the entire energy in the known universe would be needed though later work brings the number down a bit or from a mixture of negative and positive energy that said the energy requirements would still be immense if bobrick and martier are right then a warp drive is just like any other object in motion it would be subject to the universal speed limit enforced by general relativity after all and it would need some kind of conventional propulsion system to make it accelerate the news get worse many kinds of warp drive can only modify the space time inside a certain way by slowing down the clock of the passenger is exactly the way that makes a trip into deep space a problem bobrick and martier do show that some warp drives could travel faster than light but only if they are created already traveling at that speed which is no help for any ordinary human hoping for a bit of interstellar tourism remember that a warp drive can modify the region of flat space time it encloses it can in particular speed up or slow down a clock inside the drive consider what it would mean to have such an object available want to put someone with a terminal illness on ice stick them in a warp drive and slow their clock down from their perspective a few years will pass while a hundred years will pass on earth time enough 
to find a cure. Comment down below your thoughts on warp bubble.